I think we've officially reached the point where Chinese monster movies are now easily the best in the world, with the only exception being the big budget American blockbuster films. I say that because when it comes to realistic looking snakes, I've never seen anything better than this film. What China lacks in horror movies, it more than makes up for in its monster and creature feature titles. Unburdened by the shackles of theatrical censorship, and fresh with the knowledge that snake movies have universal appeal, they've been producing a steady diet of pure popcorn delight. Monty Python 2, Rising Bow is in a girls' school, and now this. And you can tell they're doing something right, because this movie features quite a few recognisable Hong Kong actors as well, such as Paul Chur from Fruit Chan's Coffin Homes, and Terence Yin as the main bad guy, who's been in a whole host of Hong Kong and American action films, such as Cold War 2 and Tomb Raider. A group of circus performers, on their way to what they think is a new performance location, become stranded in a lush rainforest after the boat that they were on, and the captain leading the way, are eaten and destroyed by an anaconda with a special red marking. They cross paths with a deadly poacher who is hunting the anaconda and realises he might now have enough bait to catch him. But being circus performers, they have a few survival tricks up their sleeves. As fun and wacky as the movie is, and that's certainly established in the opening 20 minutes or so, where the movie wants you to know it has quite a few very sexy girls in the cast, it's unfortunately not as great as it could have been. Certainly, there are a lot of positives going for it. A genuinely likeable cast of characters, including a Taoist priest and his hopping zombie costumed cousin, make their death scenes a little personal, while the impressive CGI snake will have you wondering if they really found a 60 foot long anaconda and trained it to be an actor in the film. There's also a hilarious dream sequence that looks fantastic, and the decent cast of well-known actors only hams up their performance at the appropriate moments. This doesn't have any of the hallmarks of your typical low budget straight to streaming schlock, but it does lack in a coherent story, if that's the thing that you're looking for. It's implied multiple times that the performers are actually being sold off, but we never find out who they're being sold off to and what that purpose is. We also don't really get to understand the motivations behind our evil poacher, other than money. Then again, this is a creature feature. Do we really need to know this much about the characters? The most important thing is that the movie's fun, and by golly it is. So make sure you hunt this one down, and as luck would have it, it's available for free here on YouTube. I would give this two smiley faces. That's how much I enjoyed this. I'm the Artie Dance. You're watching Shock Mania and the Artie Dance YouTube channels. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Otherwise, I will catch you next time.